Welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. It's great to have you here. Just to give you a little quick background, so I'm a classical singer, a classically trained vocalist, and I love to listen to artists and, and experience new things with the vocally gifted artists. Um, and the whole premise is for me to kind of, you know, branch out and expand my musical universe. And so today I'm going to be watching Harry Styles' uh, Falling music video. Um, my son actually recommended this one. So that's part of why I started doing this was to kind of, you know, gain more of the cool factor with um, reacting to some of these, uh, the newer groups and, and artists. So he says this one has a really fairly impressive uh, vocal. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. Uh, so without further ado, I'll get started. If you haven't already, if you could please uh, subscribe and click on the notifications um, icon there. That way you'll be notified when I uh, release new reactions. Um, I try to really, you know, react pretty much every day and post new things and new material. And I also try to go through and read all the comments and respond in some way to all the comments that, that you all leave whether that's suggestions or feedback or whatever. So uh, thank you for that. Let's get started here. Oh, wow. bed and you're not here and there's no one to blame but the drink in my wandering hands forget what I said it's not what I meant He has really a lot of control with his voice and it's just a really a very rich tone to his voice. It's pleasant to the ear and um, uh, I, ha I have a lot of respect for him as an artist. I mean, you can tell he's put a lot of thought into this song and the lyrics and the, the mood that he's setting with all of his surroundings there and... Um, I, yeah, it's I'm liking it so far here. Let's let me go back a little bit. And I love when when artists involve the piano. I love I love the piano. I play the piano a little bit, but um, I'm sure he's much better than I am. But uh, it's a great instrument. I love to hear people play it as part of their songs. Forget what I said. It's not what I meant And I can't take it well, back that's cool. I can't it's got water in the, the piano. baggage left oh, wow. What am I now? What am I now? What if I'm someone I don't want to run? I'm falling again I'm falling again I'm falling What if I'm And you missed me too. He obviously understands also, and I've talked about this in my other, in some of my other reactions. But really, when you're performing and when you're singing a song, um, you're telling a story, right? So you've got, you know, your your ebbs and falls. You you've got your moments where you rise up and you sing with more power, and then you kind of back it off, which is what he's done right here. Um, and it tells a story and it, it adds more um, of a flow and a, 
um, organic nature to the song. It makes it more alive, in my opinion. Um, because just like we as people, we're not just like this, you know, monotone type individual that just kind of, okay, you know, I do the same things. I never have any, you know, fluctuations in what I do or how I say it or or my moods or um, how well I do certain things as, as far as being patient or or showing kindness, whatever those things are. So the a song should also kind of have a life of its own. And so I like how how he's building this out and kind of in that that uh I wanna go back and listen to that again, that one he just that phrase he just sung because it was beautiful. He's got just a really solid tone. What if I'm down? What if I'm out? What if I'm someone you want to talk about? I'm falling again, I'm falling again, I'm falling. You said you care, and you missed me too. And I'm well aware I write too many songs about you. And the coffee's out at the Beachwood Cafe. And it kills me because I know we've run out of things we can say. What am I now? What am I now? What if I'm someone I don't want around? Those are profound words right there. What if I'm someone that I don't want around, right? I, I like the lyrics for this song. It's very well written. Almost kind of poetic, right? As far as telling the story about who he's becoming and who they're, who they're becoming, ultimately. Um, and not being comfortable around each other and not having um, that closeness and the ability to just be with each other and and have fun and be able to talk and, and all of that. I'm just going to rewind just a little bit. What am I now? What am I now? The window's open. Oh, it's getting deep. they filmed this how would you even film this it's got to be like cgi or something because you can't yeah it's got to be cgi they probably filmed him in a pool floating around and singing and doing different things and then they kind of threw the stuff in around him with cgi to make it look like there was a room around him because you know you got an open window right there so water's going to escape out so it's got to be but that's that's really a I've never seen anything like this in a video. This is really a cool effect and it ties right in with the, what, what he's singing.
Wow. That was a profound song. Um, I wonder what the story is behind that when there's obviously a story. Um, as an artist, you know, writing the songs, I'm sure they have it's a story behind what what he's talking about there and what happened with a specific relationship and I've talked about this before but you know the things like that that happen to you as a person the, the challenges and the, the struggles um, they happen to all of us and it only helps you to grow as a person and um, as an artist ultimately in, in, in uh, this case um, and so it brings more meaning to the words of the song and and more relatability, right? Because now you're more relatable to those who are listening to your song and uh, listening to the words because they feel those words, they understand those words, um, they can relate to those words in some way because of the things that they've gone through. Um, and so even though during those tough times it's it's very hard and you feel a lot of pain, and it's hard to kind of see your way out sometimes. You can look back later and know, okay, I was meant to learn something from this. Now let me teach um, and help others with my knowledge that I've gained and the strength and the wisdom that I've gained from what I've gone through. And I think that's really as the growth of an artist as you kind of see it. Um, that's one of the most profound things that can happen as an artist is when you see them kind of start to do that where they're they're taking the things that they are learning and they're internalizing and growing and learning from those and then distilling that out to those that that listen and and uh, are part of their fan base or whatever to help them and and relate and reach out to them in some way right and touch them inspire them so that that's cool that's a that's a neat a neat song and like i said visually this was a amazing what they did there um it was a little unsettling for me because of my love for pianos to see that one getting drenched with water because that can't be good for the soundboard but but it was really cool it was a cool effect for sure to see that kind of fill up and then um i think he was relating the falling to drowning as well kind of you know there's some parallels there that i'm sure he was trying to draw but yeah so brilliant song a brilliant vocal um, I really like Harry Styles. Um, put more suggestions in the comments for him or other similar artists. Um, for those that are new to the channel, uh, I like a lot of stuff like the Beatles and, and, um, you know, I used to listen, I, I still do to some degree. I listen to like, um, you know, Van Halen, Billy Joel, um, Eric Clapton, um, a lot of different artists. Um, journey and, and others right um, but I like songs that are melodic my son is trying to get me to listen to rap but I'm not really a huge rap person but I'm open to songs where there's like maybe a little bit of rap and there's some singing and the rap artist that actually has a decent voice and you know those types of songs so if you know some of those I'll, I'd be open to considering reacting to some of those but Okay, um, anyway, thank you very much for your support. If you haven't already, if you could please click on subscribe and click the notifications and uh, take care. Thank you.